Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Aquarius. This full moon is under the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius reminds me so much of Sagittarius. That's who this reading is for. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Sagittarius, Holy Spirit. Oh, the fledging card. If my mind allows me to recall, it's like trying to know something you've never experienced before, something like that. Spirit is definitely telling me to read that card for you, Sagittarius, Holy Spirit under all this Aquarian energy. What is the full moon message for Sagittarius? Why am I doing their reading again? Because hmm, something is ending so that something new can begin. You open up with the world card. That's an ending and a new beginning. All in one. <laughs> Yeah, you, it's, I feel like you're experiencing an ending and a new beginning at the same time. Right. Okay. Mm. Future energy for Sagittarius spirit. Future energy. Sagittarius. Okay, thank you. Future energy for Sag. Mm. Fledging. I am going to read that for you. This is a time for you to remember you cannot know things until you experience them. Being in this evolving state means you may stumble a bit. Don't expect yourself to be perfect. Now is the time for being gentle with yourself as you step into your destiny to become the beautiful person you are meant to be. When fledging appears, it's a sign of new growth and wonderful new opportunities. Step forward with curiosity and a willingness to learn and discover. Know that you are blessed with a time of learning and new things. Well, that's this full moon. It's also a super moon. It's also a blue moon, which makes it rare. This is a rare time. Timing is perfect for you to do something take advantage of a new experience, prepare for something new that's coming in under this new moon. Mm. Why? Because you open up, you come into this reading with something closing and something opening simultaneously. Um, you know, time is fluid and I think that timing is everything. So this time... It's like you are closing out something and on its heels, something new is coming. It's something you never experienced. It's something better than you even imagined, right? It's going to put you in a position where you can give to others. Yes, this is Sagittarian energy confirming this is a time of expansion, you know, I feel like because you've never experienced this before, this is beyond your wildest dreams. It is. It's, like I said, puts you in a position where you're charitable. Mm. Wow. And, and that's what you are. It's like your light is shining. It's almost like you have really earned this new experience. You've been in a state of the magician, working on this, believing it. That's all you tell each yourself. The Ten of Wands is here. It hasn't been easy, you know, bringing things to an end, 
preparing for something new, right? Like that's that healing quiet stage where you spend time and you prepare for something new. And then you have aspirations of X, Y, and Z. And then it is so much more than that, right? Mm. Sometimes some people feel like a blessing can be a burden, right? Exactly. But when you're experiencing something you've never experienced before, you have to put up healthy boundaries. So some of you are really creating, learning to establish better boundaries, depending on the situation. Also realizing that people, different people need different boundaries, right? You don't use the same boundaries for every person, every situation. Boundaries are very important, especially when you are doing something new that you've never done before. I also am being told you need to set a boundary around new things that you're doing, Sag, because you are the king or queen of wands. And it needs time to be nurtured, to uh, grow, to sprout. And sometimes when you don't have boundaries around anything new that you're desiring and you allow in advice from others or you open up so others can see what you're doing, they can kill that idea before it even gets time to sprout. And that's what somebody's going through right now. You're being told to put some boundaries up, to give it time to grow to transform once you plant something, you keep it in the darkness until it's ready to come forward. This is what you're being told because you're working on something new and you've never done this before. And Spirit says, right, you're supposed to do this in the silence and quiet. This is a, something big. That's why. You don't need to call attention to it because it's going to call attention to itself when it comes. When it comes and when you do release it, when it's time, divine timing, there's going to be pushback. There's going to be pushback because of jealousy, envy. I said this before because of who you are. Like you're able to transmute, transcend expand, free yourself, and it all starts in your mind, and it's innate, and so others can't really do this. You are the king or queen of wands, and you're working on something right now that others could try to kill it before it even gets off the ground, so it's very important because of envy and jealousy, again, this is going to be something like I just feel like you are going to be given so much. Tell me about some money because I do see with the six of pentacles, it's like you're in a position to give money, to balance someone's life, to change someone's life. Right? You're in a position to give money and also spiritual wealth. You know, that's part of your life purpose, Sagittarius. That's why spirit is going to put you in a position to have more so you can give more. Because your life purpose is more than money. It involves spiritual wealth. Some of you may be counseling or being a guide, or you are following your divine path. Either way, you are being filled with whatever is needed for you to fulfill your purpose and to give to others. You're actually being, you're a counselor, you're a healer, you're, tell me, leave me in the comments how, what were you chosen to be, to do, tell me. Let's qualify this spirit for Sagittarius. OMG. So you have the temperance card and the wheel. Right. And that's qualifying the world. Spirit says shut up and get the cards down, Moody. Okay, spirit. Mm -hmm. mm. 
qualified current and permit. Oh man, that's a lot. Mm. Okay, spirit. <clears throat> Thank you. Wow, look at you, Sag. Uh, that's all this Aquarian energy. It's like you've got to expand. You can't be contained. You're in that energy. You're in your energy of expansion. Something's going on with Jupiter. Must be. Because it's like, I feel this need to break free. It's like you're rebelling against any restraints. Because you are being called to do something else. It's part of your fate, your destiny. That's why you can't be held back right now. But you're moving into uncharted territory, I just heard. And it's happening quickly, right on the heels of you ending something, something new is beginning. It's putting you in a position where you now have the ability to be just, to be fair, to be, to compensate others. The seven of pentacles, the six of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, it's like you are now in a position to help somebody financially, spiritually, to help them. However, they need help. You have the ability to do that. This mission, this life purpose, it is right up your alley. It's making you happy with the Nine of Cups. And that's the deal. You know, usually we fight with being aligned with that spiritual calling. But the truth is, it's something that we love. It's something that we love doing. It's in alignment with us, with what we love. But it serves a higher purpose. It helps more than us. It helps others. And that's what you're being called to. This is new, altogether new. Mm, Father of Pentacles always has plan A, plan B, because he's resourceful. If one plan doesn't work, he has to come up with something else. And that's you. That's you at this moment. So many reasons why people are jealous of you, your action, just that maturity, the ability to know what to do when and then to take the action. That is you. That is you. But there's something that you have been divinely inspired with. Some type of inspiration, dream, intention. Something has come down from that crown chakra into your heart. And you're passionate about it now. You're trying it. Spirit says, keep it quiet. Divine intervention tells you... Uh, on a spiritual level, it's fine to communicate, but on a physical level, keep it quiet. That's one of your boundaries, some of your boundaries. You'll determine who to implement that with. But for this, whatever this new thing is, you're about to partake uh, at this new adventure. You're excited about it. That mums the word. Do not say anything. That needs time to be nurtured to before you present it. This is, the, if you don't, this is what will happen. They will kill your dream before it even gets off the ground. Right, spirit. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. You have the 10 of wands, the 10 of swords, and the 10 of wands again. Dream killers are all around you. Because whatever you're getting ready to do, it's big. And not only is it big from your perspective, but Spirit's amplified it. How do I know? Because the High Priestess is here. You know it too. You know it. We just have a knowing because it's part of your calling. And therefore, it's destiny, it's fate. It can't be stopped. It has to happen, right? Absolutely. And it's part of the reason that you were brought to Earth. Absolutely. So you're going to overcome. Some of you aren't even paying attention to this jealousy and stuff that's all around you. Right. This is the King of Cups. You know, the King of Cups listens to his heart. He does. 
Um, he is the king of his heart. And this is something you want to do. You love to do. It's part of your cup. You enjoy it. You know this is the truth. You see the light. This is a self-discovery thing, an aha moment. But your angel guides, your spirit guides are all around you. How do you know that, Moody? Because you have one, two, three, four cups. Cups. You have one, two, three, four major arcanas. And you are the king of cups. You're working on filling up your own cup, getting back in touch with yourself, what you love, who you love. That's the truth. You're discovering more about yourself and how that is going to help you to follow your life's purpose. Mm -hmm. It's an inside job. You're doing right. You don't need anybody. You know, they are walking by a church. They could go in and ask for help or get other people's opinion, tell them what they're doing, why they may need this or that. Or, but no, no. <laughs> I see that you make the correct decision regarding including others in what you're doing. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta get that card. Maybe not now. You wanna give me another card for Sag Spirit? Yeah, you know, it, it can be rather stressful when you don't have anybody to bounce anything off of. And that's when your spiritual connections play a deeper part. Because it can be a stressful situation, like doing things in a cocoon. But don't worry, this is coming to an end because your angel guides, your spirit guides are all around you. They're sending you positive energy. Some are sending you even financial help to get this off the ground. You know, there are miracles and life-changing blessings that are happening here. This is why, you know, I just feel like somebody's going to be jealous. They are. And I felt like that before. Get ready because more is coming. It is even more than you could imagine because you are in a position to give it away, to do God's work by giving it to your who your intuition is going to tell you. It's all going to be orchestrated. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yes, something major is ending so that something major can begin. Yeah. This is orchestrated by divine, protected by him. Didn't I say that? The self-discovery with the King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, also miracles. We talked about miracles and life-changing blessings being headed your way. Your self-esteem is shooting up to the stars. This is also the surgeon moon in August about a fish who's very strong and resilient. That's you. I see you. Yeah, you're going to encounter some naysayers, some difficulties, some challenges, some burdens along the way while you're learning something new, moving into a new phase. But pff, you got this. You got this. Because it's what you're destined and fated to do. Nobody can stop this. They can cause stress. Right. But that's about it. <laughs> Only if you let them, too. Right. This is about that crown chakra, everything coming in, the discernment at the right time, letting you know what you need to do, when you need to do it, too. You know, this is about those boundaries that you're setting up here. Right. Knowing who deserves what type of boundary. Right? Mm. And also... The past, whatever this world card was, whatever ends here under this full moon, temper it with forgiveness, Sagittarius, because that truly ends it. It means you don't think about it, it doesn't occupy your mind, right? And that's the Ace of Swords. Only thing occupying your mind is what you love, who you love how you're moving forward, this new work you're doing, new project, new 
opportunity that you have right now that you know this is a part of your mission, your life's purpose. You know it. Mm. Spirit confirms it, and therefore nobody can stop this. Don't worry about that. Can you tell me something about love specifically? Or you definitely are preparing for it. <gasps> what walks in? The one. Oh. I said, tell me about love for Sag. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So there is somebody who's probably admiring you or you're admiring them. Oh, I see what it is. See, it could be this whole life's purpose thing. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah, because spiritually you are becoming aligned with what you're destined and fated to do, your life's purpose. And right, this person that you've already met, there could have been a misalignment at the time that you met them. So your paths didn't cross. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this one that Sagittarius has already met. Mm -hmm. Why didn't they stay together when they met? Ooh. All right, Sag. So there is somebody that feels guilty for what they did in the past when it comes to you. There's some shame about the way they behaved, the way they cheated you. I would go even so far to say there's remorse over their past actions. Yeah. They don't even have the right words to express how they feel. This is somebody who wants your forgiveness. There is somebody from the past. You could have crossed paths with them already. You do because you already met them. You've already met them. So your path has crossed. Maybe spirit kept them away from you because or took them away from you or moved them out of your path because they weren't ready for you. They were doing things to hinder your relationship. As a matter of fact, that's why they're here. They want your forgiveness. And this is a part of you ending a cycle and moving on into a new cycle, fledging, right? Stepping into the unknown, stepping out of your comfortability into the unknown. To do that, this is part of that new beginning. So it's like the ending, forgiving, new beginning. Mm-hmm. It's a requirement. Otherwise, that guilt that they're feeling is going to be something that you're feeling. You don't want to feel that. Right. Whoever I'm talking to. Whoever did whatever they did to Sagittarius. Um, I feel you're going to be liberated from that. It's too much Aquarian energy for Sagittarius to hold a grudge. It's, they know that will weigh them down and they're moving right now. Right. There's also a better love uh, for Sagittarius. There is. Um, you may have met somebody in the past, but if they're not part of your destiny and fate, you won't be with them. Whoever is part of your destiny and fate, that's who's coming in now. Right. A lot of time has passed. It could be somebody from the past. This is Mercury retrograde. But I don't know how you feel about forgiving and moving on or forgiving and getting back. That is your choice. Mm -hmm. What are we recommending on that choice here, Spirit? What are we recommending? Spirit so saying you're going to have to go with your intuition. You have a lot of purple here which means uh, your spirituality is still in charge. <laughs> yeah, it is because this is about your life purpose, Sag. The wheel and temperance is here. 
And you already know your love life in the past was influenced by religion and your spiritual path. And so you get a lot of purple here. And I don't see that changing, but forgiveness allows you to move on from this situation. You're going to listen to your intuition. You're very self-aware, very intuitive. Um, spirit is leading the way. Hey, they, you've been allowing spirit to drive the bus, to turn the wheel. And so far, you don't have any complaints. This is what I hear. And you want a different kind of love. You want new experiences. Whatever happened in the past, this full moon takes the shackles off. It frees you. It's like, mm, you're moving on. I see. What? <laughs> What else for Sagittarius, full moon in Aquarius spirit? Hmm. Yeah, I do feel like the future, your life purpose, getting back to that, that counselor thing, any type of area of service, right? We're all here to be of service. Mm. Again, you know, like I said, some of you are not going to allow them to mend that bridge and reconcile this. Again, you're going with your intuition. Be led by your intuition. That will be the right choice for you. Others of you, they're not even going to get to you. They may have the intent and be working towards it, but because of where you're led, what's going on at the time that they try and cross paths with you, you're just not available. You are protected. You got these boundaries and divine intervenes because he has a vested interest in the outcome. Mm. Yeah, so I see that um, there is protection. Sometimes, you know, we're not even strong enough to do what we need to do to protect ourselves. So there is divine intervention here, especially with all that purple. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you know, your emotions are very high right now. Um, you're sensitive. But you're also very astute. It's like you're keen. You, you're you on top of it. You know what's happening. And you're ready for something new. You know? Yes, didn't I say you were ready for something new? You have the death card. And this is about something new on the horizon when it comes to what you love and who you love. The wheel is here. Everything changes about you when you realign. It's like a course correction. You're back on your path. I don't see anything taking you off of that. It's like you are focused, laser focused. All right, let's summarize this for Sagittarius Holy Spirit. Again, 444 Spirit confirms whatever your choice is, you were chosen. You're protected the fulfillment of your life's purpose and your spiritual mission is protected you're being guided you're on a divine path so that's why this protection is so important at this time there's a lot of change there's that rebellious energy i was talking about some of you are counselors giving guidance this is the right thing for you. Um, everything bears truth to this. Your character comes through. This is something you love. Remember I told you whatever your cause called to do lines up with something you love to do. You were born for this higher calling. Put your energy into going towards your ambitions. Holy Spirit will align itself to provide you with the right people, the right circumstances and resources to make things happen. That's why the King of Pentacles appeared. That's why you're getting something financial, something of value, something of worth so that you're in a position to give to others. Things are getting ready to happen for you. That's what I'm praying for. If you're praying for the same thing for your life, put 444 four, four in the comments for me. Like, 
subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment on anything. Tell me what you'd like, where you're from, what's going on with you. I would just love to hear from you. Sag, thank you so much for staying till the end. And until the next moon phase, namaste.